so now we continue with the buttons and first thing we need to push them to the right as we say here in the, in the template so again with our specter then we select the a i guess so it's an a is pen inside an a we need the a to be stretched to the right so we need to set up this new box to right instead of left okay then so maybe zero would be okay instead of minus four global eight four four nine eight four four nine which one so it's really right then change this only to zero okay then we need to let's set up some text line center text line center or maybe for this one instead it is better center Ah, oh, it's really center, but you have a span inside it, not a simple text. So let's move to this span, then let's give it a text align center, a padding zero, a margin zero. Um, I mean, let's try to give it margin auto, zero auto, doesn't make sense. So actually, we have a lot of junk with this span, so we have a font, we keep it as default. Background OK, padding remove, text shadow no, with no for instance, uh, text OK, it disappeared but, but no problem, uh, display block it's OK, let's remove it even either, left um, we only need to be zero, and top it's OK but I need only to be zero too, and so we are stretching well here, yeah. and uh, let's transform kind of in useless, useless things, text sander, padding zero, or uh, margin zero, so we have, okay, we have some good clear version for this new label, let's copy this code, paste it, 8457, 8457, this is it, remove all this junk and replace it with this one, now, we're back, actually we need also to remove some useless stuff for the ahref, again which is for more for more for reason sorry <clears throat> is the height i give it auto auto please and with again auto and i type overflow hidden wait a second um so from the left need to be zero wait a minute what's going on here so that's it, then let's try to target this guy with some padding of 10 pixel. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so it's a bit tricky here, but I need to type a height with a value of 15 pixel. Again, same for the width, because we need it to be rectangular. And we see some sort of after and before we don't need it actually so we again again we go to 8471 8471 where is it all right so we just need to hide the content for after and before and that's it and we get rid of this actually so don't bother myself for that and back to the span so it's a square, then the span again, I will do padding, 25 pixel each side. So imagine that, 25 and 25, actually let's change this to um, 25, 10. Border radius, radius like 10, I mean 50 maybe, okay. And now we keep playing with the padding till we get the right result and we need to get back now to the A and allow the overflow so it's hidden right here we need to set it visible and we're good to go so let's save this again global 8449 uh, where is it? yeah this one and save this pen New label, 8455, I guess, eight, new label, this one. 
Good. Refresh. And okay, we are almost very good, except that we need to push the bit to the right. Oh, I'm sorry, to the left. So again, back to the CSS, then we have, uh, actually, we don't need the new, we need the new box. We need the, sorry, we need to, we need this one. We need new box, actually. So I give it like 20 pixel from the right and a 10 from the, from the top. And normally we would be good to go. So what's wrong here? Nothing wrong. Forget about it. Perfect. So it's a new product. And now let's. We need to go back to the. Normally, you know, if you remember, we removed the test that uh, it does. Uh, you know, it's t that test if the product is new or not. This block. But for testing reason, I will keep it. You know, I would like to see uh, the final result if it will look like this one or not. And now for the image, we have some unuse, unuseful and unneeded border. We need to remove them. So we have product image container and we have border that we don't need. Actually, I will just change this to none. And the that's good. So it's in line. OK, again, we have product list of CSS line 166. And the border just change this to none. Thanks for your help. Oops. Okay, we we'll just you know can remove it. What? Yeah, the yeah. Order none. This one is useless. Okay, pretty good. Um, what's left? There is buttons. So as we see here, we have only added two cards. We don't have this small button. So we need to inspect it then. Just hide it on the template in the product list store TPL. Uh, this one is called more. It's under uh, product list store TPL. Just type more. Mm, we have a lot of them, but the one that we are looking for is this one. Select, put as a comment, refresh, and we're good to go. Come on, it's slow. We're good to go so now we need to start working with this button firstly we don't have any background we have only this little tiny borders in the gray color and the text uh, on uppercase mode or capitalized sorry uppercase yeah it's uppercase as we see here it's composed from you know some sort of parent and child elements we have the a containing the link and uh, all the attributes and the span containing the text uh, okay, so to change this, actually we need to to change the href style and the spam. Okay, for the gain of time, I will not, you know, waste time on changing the bow. So I will try the a bit of dirty way, like background um, white. Sorry, I need to type the ASCII code. Okay, color to CCC or CCC. Oh, wow. I said C and type 3 3. 3 C actually. Okay. Oh, we don't need any text shadow. Actually, it's somewhere here, so we can only remove it. Is there any text shadow right here? No. So, text shadow is none. Good. Then the border, we need it to be also CCC, I guess. Border, color, dollar, CCC. What's going on? Does it take place? Yeah. And... You know, it's still not perfect because it's uh, affected by the style of this. Ahrev, but for the border is not the case. So let's see if any border color here. Let's remove them. Border. Yeah. All right. Let's get rid of all, all these useless background stuff and junky code. Okay. Color background. Okay. Then we have the border. We have a lot of padding. 
Actually, it's a bit more, I guess, than we need. It's 10, so let's change this actually to a bit less than 10. It will be 5 good, I guess. Then we need to change the text transform. Transform, uppercase. Then the font uh, size, let's keep it 1am. Or a bit smaller, maybe. So we don't have actually the same font, so that's why it doesn't look like it's perfect. But it's there. So again, we are learning here. We're not. We are not looking for perfection. We're not, and you know, we're not selling this product to any customer or whatsoever. So we are learning the basics. Okay. The border is not that good. We need to set a border two pixels solid. But we have some other weird stuff that I still don't understand where does it came from. We have border this one. Ah yeah. Ah we have border color here. Border color border color. I said it's important. Let's turn this back. So we have Ajax button. Let's save this first. Then I will be back. So global A243. A A243. Okay, let's refresh and see what our work did. Okay, so I guess this part is not that complicated anymore because we you know we are like at 95 percent so the rest of it will be only css i will not make the video much longer uh no normally i will stop here and uh, and the next we move to what's left to integrate this part containing this text and uh, i guess there's some uh, youtube video somewhere and uh, the subscribe to newsletter okay see you in the next one